As you can already tell, Mama J is our special guest. Why have you Don't got stop. this on? Because I'm comfy. I feel like it's a lot going on with our t-shirts. <laughs> You're making my oh, outfit look bad. Nebraska, <laughs> Nevada. <laughs> Can't you go again to another country? If you're I think first of all, that's not country. <laughs> Okay, shit. Geography with Jen. So today, Mum's going to be asking oh my God, us. Max, you matches my outfit. So today. <laughs> Today, Mom's going to be asking us questions that she's always wanted to ask us, but you guys have recommended them, so she's picked from all the questions that you guys left on our Instagrams. I'm going to pop it on the screen right now. Make sure you follow us on Instagram so you can keep up to date with all of the YouTube insights. Mama Drew is going to be asking us questions that we definitely know that we don't want to answer. It's going to be awkward, it's going to be uncomfortable, and yeah, we're living for it. Are you ready, Mum? Let's rock and roll. It's going to get hot in here. Have you ever stole money from me? Probably. I don't know. Probably <laughs> when I wanted money. What the hell Probably when I was younger. I was waiting for me to answer I first. definitely probably stole a couple of euros for the tuck shop. Megan, I remember. Megan, mum would give her like 20 quid to buy something and Megan would never give the change back. There so never was change. It was. was. Don't lie. Euro I think I probably stole like a five euro note. Yeah. Like, more Nothing more than that. Yeah. Like, I'm really disappointed. <clears throat> Have you ever kissed a girl and liked it? I kissed a girl and I liked it. Um, um no. Yeah. Megan's okay. kissed multiple. No, like, as in, like, really? Yeah. Okay. I am. I've kissed Sophia by accident. Have you? <laughs> Where'd you go, sister? Have you ever taken a pee, but not in the toilet? Well, outside. Oh, like in yeah. the bush? No, in the sky. Yeah, I definitely. <laughs> I went to a house party before and I had a piss in the garden. I've probably peed when in the toilet. just went nappy <laughs> Funny story. Oh, sorry. When sorry. I was seven, I had really bad liquid diarrhea and I had to wear a nappy. <laughs> that was and mum was trying to fit it. Oh my god, those were green. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you did put that in, I'm gonna kill you. Definitely no, don't, you have to put a thing they over were green. it. Get them off your mum. <laughs> <laughs> we're in this car. And Millie's eight, by the way. We're all on our way to Algarve, <laughs> which is like a two, what, two hour <laughs> drive. Two and a half hours. And she's got the shit. <laughs> And when there's like five liquid <laughs> chocolate sauce, <laughs> she had to wear nappies and get changed in the bag like she was a kid again. Her legs were And she got a nappy change and it reeked. Oh my, oh god. my god. Sorry, do so you have liquid <laughs> diarrhea and it smells like me cry. I'm crying. Okay, right, next one. Have you ever. I've done this many times. Have you ever gone out without knickers on? Oh, commando. <laughs> yeah. I am the queen of it. I have. I don't like it though. Feels scared. When you, like, not now, like when I was younger, because the dresses are so tight. You're like, such a gorgeous. What do you mean now when you were younger? You still do it. <laughs> you still do it. Like, can you see my knickers in this? Oh, I'll just take them off. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason I don't. No, it's too late now. Oh, God, I did tell you this. That was so much fun. I don't like this then. <laughs> so the answer is yes, we all have gone commando. <laughs> have you ever been to a restaurant and left without paying? No. What do you take me for? You hesitated. You no, I didn't have to think it through, but I had to. Oh, Obviously it's... not, because that's rude. Hey, good. No, we did, we've never done that. I've robbed from a shop before. Same, I've robbed from Claire's. Sponsor me. I was literally like seven, and it was like one of those like best friend friendship bracelets, and I took it. I stole from a Disney store. <laughs> Push around Disney in Orlando, and she, I, we'd leave, and then she'd have a little stash under a blanket, and I'd be like, how are you girls? Have you ever lied to where you were going? Yeah. That was quick now. I used to like, <laughs> when I was with my toxic ex-boyfriend, I used to tell her that I was at places when I was actually at his house. Doing what? Seeing my ex Watching toxic Netflix. boyfriend mm. that you hated and I wasn't allowed to see. You know see what? Mum is a very strict mum, so I'm going to be really honest with you and say I have 100 million percent lied to you about where <laughs> I was going. I'm not going to lie that I would get mad anxiety over it. She'd be like, where are you? No, and I'd be like, I'm here. Too quick. And I always thought mum had a tracker up somewhere on my yeah. phone. Have you ever, right, I mean, if this is a yeah, I'm going to go like crazy. Have you ever sent nudes? No. Hmm. <laughs> to be fair, no, not nudes. I haven't said nudes, no, I haven't. No. Like sexy nudes? pictures. Like yeah. a, ooh, ooh. What, naked? No, mini knickers on, like that. Ooh, ooh, oh, as right. a joke. Sexy pic. Yeah. Oh, you've been warned. And you? I oh, know you wouldn't. I wouldn't! What's that <laughs> supposed to mean? Yeah, you're a bit kinky though, aren't you? <laughs> You don't know anything about me. I just don't speak I know about you, it. I know, normally the quiet one's the worst, right? Have you ever shorted? Ever what? <laughs> ever what? 
oh. farted and shit at the same time. <laughs> sure. Probably when I had a diarrhea coming out my ass. From <laughs> she was eight. When yeah. I was eight and wearing that. That definitely happened. I probably <laughs> did um, shot. No, I've, I've never shot. I don't think. Not that I can recall. I don't think I've shot. Maybe. Who the hell? I'm asked with these questions. Have you shot? You've definitely shot. You no. have shot. 100%. You've definitely shot. You yeah, laughed and leant back, and asked, I was worried that was going to happen. <laughs> Maybe I was ill or something. That's what they were saying. saying. When was the last time you both had sex? Three days ago. Oh, move on. I don't want to know. Really Four days ago. Let's go. Is your body count over five? No. No. Really? No. Don't you look at me like that? Oh even if you have more than five, ain't even that deep. I've, I've only had, had two boyfriends. boyfriends my whole life. Well, you had a little date. Like, you were dating a little bit. Like, I know, but I've had two from the age I'm of more, 15. I'm more surprised because you're a bit older. Not you, Mel. God. From I'm the age of 15. I think we're right, there's only one one body difference between me and me. <laughs> yeah. She's a slag. <laughs> no, because I wouldn't let you be like that. I was just, I maybe it just thought maybe because you had to Thanks, Mum. No. It's okay. Next question. Mum, is your body count lower than five? five. No. <laughs> Don't tell me what I can't, can't do <laughs> yet. Is yours, is yours higher than 10? Right, next question. <laughs> this is not even about me. Next question. How have you ever fancied any of Nuno's friends? I mean, none of his, <laughs> there's none of his friends too fancy. I know exactly what this is gonna <laughs> be. Don't tell me it's that guy with the blue eyes. He was, so he was no. I said he had nice eyes, and then everyone went outside and told him I fancied him, and he's like sixty. It was confidential. I said, Snake, he's got really nice eyes, hasn't it? Go to the toilet, come out, and everyone goes. I knew she bloody told them all. Then he never came oh, back. So <laughs> he didn't want to catch a case. Apparently <laughs> what? I, don't, no, I actually don't case. get it, it's fine. I said he had nice blue eyes catch and everyone thought I fancied him. Catch a case is when you're talking to an underage person. I thought catch a case means when you get sexually transmitted disease. <laughs> <laughs> catch a case. <laughs> I, I can't cope. Have you ever smoked wacky backy? What's that? <laughs> wacky backy. What does that mean? Pot? Weed? Pipe? Pipe? <laughs> no, no, I've tried it before, but no. I don't even, I can't even do, I can't even smoke a vape. It's just embarrassing. Yeah, I couldn't do anything. I'm like, uh, so no. Do you think you'll marry Max and Josh? What's don't the ask this. What's the percentage? All right, don't ask percentage. because Max, I, I can't, I've never spoke about stuff like this with Max. I think probably, yeah. Like, there's a high, high chance. Really? I don't know. I just no, feel I'm like I'm complaining. What's the percentage then? That's quite high. Eighty. That gives them twenty percent chance. Maybe oh, what you're <laughs> It's making. It's. I'm blushing. Just look at that. That's so embarrassing. Well, in, in my eyes, I'd like to think that I'd be with him forever. That's the only reason I'm with him. Mm. Gotta give a percentage. I don't know. It must be like up in it the 90s. Must be up in the 80s then. I'd say like up in the 80s. Yeah, I guess it all depends. Like I'm only 19. Like he can be a completely not that I think he'd be. He can mm. be a completely different completely person. Different person. That's when why he's I always say you never know what. So that's why I said 80, 20. But it's probably higher. What I'm gonna say is, girls, gonna be in a relationship. Picture your own future with them because you don't waste your time. What's the point of being with someone don't you waste don't waste your years? Can't. You could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? America. LA. Really? Yeah, You'd live in America? Like, I'd do six months there and yeah. then six months probably. Alright, if you were going to have children, where would you raise them? I'd want them to be raised in Portugal because, let me tell you why, in my opinion, childhood would be better here because there's less stress of what you wear, what you look like, it's more laid back, bullying is much less here, there's obviously still bullying but it's not as common. The crime in Portugal is so low, I know if my daughter was walking alone, the possibility of something bad happening it's would be very, very low. Small. It's a very different lifestyle here, like you go to the beach after school and yeah. you, it's yeah, like a lot of it's a, more of like it's a lot of bank environment, <laughs> but it is completely different yeah. environment, you can't say that Portugal has prepared us for like the life in England because no, it's completely no, no, different. Yeah. I struggled so much yeah, leaving struggled. Portugal. Maybe struggled so much because they're massive change. But I'd like to do that. If I ever have kids, I'm low key scared what they're gonna go into because I hear these so many stories of like yeah, how bro. dangerous it is, like the fights, the bullying. Like it's worse than what when Very. we were in school. How many schools did I have to change? Well, before we left Portugal, there was like three schools. Was cause I got we bullied. left it when she was ten, so you can imagine all the kids just like. Did I have to leave the school? <clears throat> Maybe I was the horrible one. Yeah. <laughs> no, Give me that book, I was real. Yeah, I got punched in the nose, didn't I? Yeah. <gasps> Since we're talking about kids, how many kids would you like to have? Oh my gosh, um, depends how much money I've got. True. If I'm financially all right, I'd love to have loads of kids, just okay, because I'd want loads of kids. No, we say that, but it's a lot of work. Four. If and I had loads of money. You've got a lot of money, honey. Does it really matter though, if you don't have lots of money though? I really want to get engaged. I'm not sure about kids, because I feel like, I, to, I don't know, like, no, 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 I will have kids, but I've never thought about how many. I've never thought about how many kids I want. I can't wait to have kids though. That's like my biggest goal in life, having a beautiful family. It's like mine. My biggest goal. 
How old were you? When was your first kiss and who was it with? No. And did you enjoy it? Oh, like, no. what type of kiss were you on about? Like, proper. A proper kiss? Oh, first proper kiss. kiss. I was, it was with this guy in the year above me. I think I was like 15. Hey, what was his name? I can't say. Why? Say it. I can't say, say. It. say it. Say it. Why can't you say that? It was just really awkward and I was like, oh, I wanted to just raise it. It wasn't yeah, the nicest first. I think everyone's kiss. first kiss about, like that, isn't it? Mine's, I don't, I don't even want to say it. It makes me you cringe. To? It's so cringe. Who is it weird? Who is it weird? Because obviously I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> just whacked her head on his shoe. You really I'm know on. who it was Where weird. Don't even... Oh my God. Okay. It was lovely. Basically, it was, we were in the car and Nuno was driving. <laughs> And I think he, they heard it. I didn't hear nothing. I you remember. were kissing in the car. And he kissed me in the car to say goodbye. But it was a proper kiss. And I was like, hang on, that means you were like, what, 14? 13. Come on. No, it's more the story behind it. Like, what if Nuno heard me have my first kiss? I didn't even, I, do you know what? I didn't even think I even liked boys until I was like 14. Like, no, you win. because my mum scared the shit out of yeah. me. So I wasn't even allowed to they go weren't near allowed boys. I'm not going to lie, but in. like... Because they have to study, study, study. Because when you have boyfriends, they you just get, get in the way, you get distracted. Mum definitely thought that I fancied girls for a while because I just didn't have a boyfriend yeah. at all. Millie was a tomboy. Buddies and... Didn't want to brush her teeth. Didn't want to, like, take a shower. <laughs> we'll get a shower. Just, Thanks like, went to school and hung out with all the boys and played football and basketball. Stop, because we're going to get called a pick me in a minute. Girl yeah. that likes to do stuff to get boys' attention. Or not get a shower. <laughs> No, normally boys, normally boys like girls who take showers. Was there any time, any time in school that you fancied a school teacher? Oh my god, what? yes, right. <laughs> German, he was German. German, German. Well, he looked at the time, really tall, big blue eyes. His name was Mr. Schultz. I know that's Mr. Amanda's husband. Shut up. <laughs> that's my Portuguese teacher's wait, husband. Wait, wait, wait. I know. Listen, they probably follow you, so can we just call okay, that Okay, let's cut his name out. The teacher that I fancy, I was probably like 10. You'll know who he is. <laughs> and he was like the substitute PE teacher. He was, they're always the freaking PE teachers. The he P was so yeah. fit. I, yeah. He kind of looked like Michael Schofield from Prison Break. So that's it. They're my questions. If you have any more ideas or suggestions to do a YouTube video with Mama J, we're actually seeing her next week so we can actually- Because it's my b b b b b birthday! We can actually squeeze in another YouTube video. If you've liked this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Winners of this week's shout out are... Congrats. If you want to be in the next week's shout out, make sure you comment the word. <laughs> Pick a word. If you want to be in next week's shout out, make sure you comment the word. Mama J. Woo! Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next week at 6.30. 6 .30.